The West is winning. We are collectively winning. We're doing it together. Well, the French president, Emmanuel Macron, does not agree with Mr. Pompeo. When I look at the world as it is being shaped, and that is the theme of your conference this year, there is indeed a weakening of the West. Fifteen years ago, we thought that our values were universal, that we were going to dominate the world in the long term, that we were dominant in terms of technology, military and so on. And then I look at the horizon of 10 to 15 years, we're going to be increasingly pushed by other agendas and other values. They are emerging. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory due unto Yahweh Bashim Yashai, Bashim Akhaku Dash, the honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and citations to the elect. Abra uh, this audio records properly. The title of this lesson is going to be called uh, uh, the, the Weakening of the West. And when we're referring to the West, I'm talking about the Western Hemisphere, chiefly uh, America, which we know. Brothers who study that America is Babylon the Great in the scriptures. And so this place, according to biblical prophecy, is weakening, contrary to the belief of many Americans and advocates for America. America will go down in flames. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get a couple of scriptures. All right, this is Revelation chapter 17. And I'll start <clears throat> at verse 12. It says, And the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings, which have received no kingdom as yet, but received power as kings one hour with the beast. Now, this is talking about the European Union, which consists essentially of the nations of Belgium, Denmark, France, Italy, Luxembourg, Netherlands, Greece, Spain and Portugal. England and Ireland and West Germany. And so these entities are essentially combining their government for the sake of being able to rule with the beast and have its perks and have its benefits. And that beast being NATO, which is the, the military unison of, uh, of the world, really, the largest military unison. And so... When we have in verse 13, where it says these have one mind and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. This is what this president of or prime minister of France was talking about when he said that essentially they were in unison 15, 10, 15 years ago. When things seemingly were less problematic and volatile. Whereas now relations between countries are starting to distance and they are it is going to lead to them splitting, which we've seen examples of uh, uh, Britain, Great Britain exiting out of the European Union for the sake of its own country. These other countries are going to continue to do things that are for their best interests. And so. That is going to lead to the disconnection of that unit, uh, that unison that was formed uh, back in what was that? Probably like 1950s when the uh, EECU was formed. Okay. Or excuse me, the uh, e ECU. Excuse me. And so, let me go ahead and let me see. Read a little bit more. Of this in verse 14, it says, These shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb shall overcome them, for he is the Lord of lords and the King of kings. And they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful. And so, these horns, which brothers have the camp sign with the horn, with the uh, the beast and the ten horns, seven heads and the ten horns, and that is what we're seeing. Right now, we're seeing these same nations that were back then during the Roman Empire that were in allegiance with one another. Those same empires are back. It's at this time they're going to they're going to be contrary one to another because that whore, which is America, is riding upon them. And then we're going to find out in the next couple of verses what's going to happen to that whore.
between that relationship between the, the, the beast and the whore. It says, verse 15, And he saith unto me, The waters which thou sawest, where the whore sitteth, are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. And so America, which resembles Babylon, uh, the great or the, the virgin daughter of Babylon, is likened unto that whore here in Revelation 17th chapter. That's, that is the nation that this chapter is talking about. It's talking about America, the United States of America. Now, it says, the whore sitteth upon peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. So that influence is upon all four corners of the earth from America by way of its diplomacy and media and news and so-called culture, music, all of these different things, uh, just government in general, the way the government set up, it influences these people. It says in verse 16, and this is the point, and the 10 horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked. And that's what we're seeing. This ten, the, the 10 horns, which is consists of the European Union in these times, are going to turn their backs on America and not only do that and forsake America, but also it says shall make her desolate and naked. So not only are they starting to hate the whore right now, because if you, you listen to the beginning of this video, I played the part where this uh, Pompeo uh, uh, gentleman was giving the speech and saying America is winning. Or, well, he was essentially was saying that, but he was saying the West is winning. And uh, that's the title of this <laughs> from Al, Al uh, Jazeera English. Is like, what exactly is the West winning? And this is also uh, was published February 16th, 2020. So I'm going to play a little bit more of this uh, and then continue with some precepts. Horizon of 10 to 15 years, we're going to be increasingly pushed by other agendas and other values. They are emerging. The US and Europe don't see eye to eye on a number of policies, including President Donald Trump's decision to withdraw the US from the 2015 Iran nuclear deal. Several European countries also didn't join a U.S. ban on the Chinese tech giant Huawei. Playing and by the way, they're just going down the laundry list. These are whole topics that one could go into to, to show and prove that these nations or these horns written in Revelation, the 17th chapter, are beginning to hate this whore because they are disagreeing. They're not in unison and harmony as they were once before. And that is, once again, because of biblical prophecy being fulfilled in these times before your very eyes in 2020, the year of prophecy. ...a role in their 5G networks. Mr. Trump has criticized European allies for not spending enough on defense budgets to support NATO, and the U.S. opposes a new gas pipeline project known as Nord Stream 2 between Russia and Germany across the Baltic Sea. The EU considers Trump's Middle East plans a departure from international agreements on the Palestinian-Israeli conflict. Of course, we got a damn ad, but essentially, <laughs> you know, but let's see the point, which is they're basically arguing and bickering, except as entire nations, entire economies and ecosystems with whole entire armies. And so they're eventually going to fight, man. Some somebody going, you know, do that first shove in the fight. You know, lots, a lot of times, you know, because right now they just they barking in each other's face right now. But then that shove is going to come and that first shove come then you know, then, they, you know, then emotions stir up and then it just becomes a brawl. And that's what's going to happen uh, according to the scriptures. OK. It says in verse 17, for the most High hath put in their hearts to fulfill his will. So this is his will for them to become disconnected uh, from one another, which is necessary because he, the Most High, is going to use the son Yahushua to dismantle this place or destructure this, destroy this place. He is going to be taken apart, just like how the top, the Tower of Babel, was confounded, or the individuals that were building it were confounded 
Because why? The Most High split them up and they were no longer able to communicate by way of those different languages that he uh, allowed for those nations to take on. And so the same concept of lack of communication and not seeing eye to eye and no longer being on one accord is going to leave for these nations to be fighting one one against another. It says, for the most I have put in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of Yahweh be fulfilled. You see this? So this is this is uh, the time where we're really starting to see them really starting to disagree more and more. I mean, these are recent points that the and of course, this is still up, but that the uh, reporter was just bringing up with the nuclear deal, Trump pulling out of the nuclear deal. It didn't it wasn't just uh, America and, and Iran. You had basically the United Nations uh, permanent seats. They all said, "Okay, let's do it. You know, China, uh, Russia, America and uh, probably the UK and maybe another country. They all agreed on the terms, which, you know, at that time was seen as the the pinnacle of Barack Obama's administration. And then the next the next president to come in office just dismantles it. So even America in itself is not in unison, let alone these different nations that are trying to keep it together. And that's what we're going to see more and more is a, a destruction uh, or, dis- or a destruction of that unison that they had. Let me see here. It says in verse. In verse 18, and the woman which thou sawest is that great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth. And that great city, once again, is America, uh, Babylon, the great, the mother of harlots. All of that, of all of the above. And that is why these other nations are tripping out because they're tired of America basically calling the shots without any regard to anyone else, especially Trump. He's very proud. We're going to get some more of this video after this ad. See here. Hey, check this out. This is crazy. Let's so, get that. This is my old insurance. Okay. And so. Okay, let's break. And so, you know, they go to the uh, to the critics. And I was listening through. I didn't listen to the whole whole video, uh, but I was listening to one individual. One thing that he said kind of stood out to me. So I'm gonna, you know, get to that point eventually. But I want to go ahead and get this next scripture here, and. One of my favorite scriptures, Isaiah chapter 14 and 11, it says thy pump, let's get that word pump in the, in the Hebrew. I didn't even read the first, I just, (laughs) you know, because that that word is, that's the perfect word. Got a one, got a one. Exaltation, ooh, majesty, pride, that pride and exalted majesty and excellence and arrogance. See, this is in a bad sense. Yeah, right, exactly. You know, pride and arrogance. So, so let's read the verse now. Thy pomp or thy pride and arrogance is brought down to the grave, and the noise of thy vials. The worm is spread under thee, and the worms cover thee. And this is talking about America, Babylon the Great. How it's going to be falling from grace or not even grace. I shouldn't even use that word. Falling from its, you know, delicate, uplifted state that it's in right now. It's pristine, so-called, you know, pristine as far as viewed in the eyes of the world in general. But even the eyes of the world are turning. They're changing their opinions and their minds about America. Like, "Mm, I don't know if this really just the great old land of opportunity you know, home of the free, land of the land of the free, home of the brave, and all of that that everyone is, is kept telling me about. That's what these different individuals who live in these different nations are going to start to see, because America's skirt is being lifted up, and so this place is going to be brought down 
like the scripture says, to the grave, to destruction. And it says the worm is spread under thee, which means it's going to decay. It's going to be dead. It's in the, you know, metaphor because America is not a person. But this is talking about the the nation of uh of America, what you people call America, which is really Babylon the Great, which is ruled by you Edomites. That's why the scriptures call it the border. Well, this it, this place is the border of wickedness because Esau dwells within this place. And so he's going to destroy the Most High is going to destroy Esau's that which Esau has built up. Now we can, you know, continue to go on, but I wanted to drop down to uh, verse six, 15, where it says. Um, I was it was it 15? Maybe I'm going to just keep reading in verse 12. It says, how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down from the ground to the ground? Excuse me, which did is weaken the nations and also Lucifer, which we can get in the pay. I mean, in the Hebrew. I'm going to get some edification on that word. Ha lal, which means light bearer. Shining one, morning star, figuratively of the king of Babylon. And so essentially this is going into a light bearer. This is the one referring to the one or ones that bear the light to these uh, these different nations. These different nations ide uh, idolize, excuse me, America because of all of its riches that is gotten by deceit and murder. And so this place is going to be brought down because of that. And this scripture is saying, man, that's crazy. You, you know, started you all the way up at the top and now you're going to be down in the, in the dust, down in the dirt. Because the most high going to just do a make this place do a complete 180. And that's what we're waiting for. How art thou cut down to the ground, which did is weaken the nations. This place kept the nations in check. America kept these nations in check. But now we're starting to see that it's weakening. They're like, man, these other nations looking at America like, man, you know what? We might be able to we might be able to do our thing without them. We might be able to trade with these nations that America doesn't agree with without America's approval. Because these other nations are still valuable. That's what these, uh, you know, these different parts of the, of the B system are thinking about. And that's what they're doing. <laughs> OK. And so obviously we could read all of this chapter, but we got the point on that. I want to continue on with actually I'll get one more precept and I'll continue on to the point where this what this uh, last dude brought out. Uh, this is Matthew chapter 20. Uh, excuse me, chapter 12, 12 and 25. It says. And Yahweh knew their thoughts and said every and said unto them, every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And that is the latter part of the verse is what the point is. Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. And this kingdom here, these unity of kingdoms are being divided one against another. And it's a beautiful thing to see because it is biblical prophecy. And the only reason why they were even able to work together in the first place was because of the will of the Most High to play out. And now what is also part of his will, the 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 breaking out and the breaking up of this uh, B system. Every house, every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And so this is why America is not going to make it, because not only is the nations that are in partnership and league with America beginning to change their minds about a lot of things that America stands for. But also even Americans in general are not in unity with one another. Half of a half of these people, they're not even considered. They're not even considered uh, Americans. They just, you know, immigrants or whatever the case is. To, to Esau. So we're going to go ahead and play this video 
I'm going to skip to a point that stood out to me. Obviously, their their uh, discourse could be of edification. So I would encourage to listen to the whole thing. But we're going to go ahead and proceed forth from where this guy was talking right here. 16 minute and 30 second mark. After this ad, of course, you know, Esau got to throw the ads in there. It's easy to be confused. Uh, international situation at the moment with things changing really quite rapidly uh, and there is less confidence to be frank uh, in the international institutions that we had uh, sort of grown up with if you like so 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 he said that things are changing rapidly and there's in this con uh, pretty big contrast from the basically the beast system that they saw when they were coming up you know, this gentleman looks like he could easily be of 50 years of age. And so imagining the European Union and NATO 25, 30 years ago, looking at it today, it's almost as if it's not even the same entity because versus when they were f uh, founded and, you know, up until the last recent few, you know, I'll say I'll say the last 10 10 years but not even less than that really just we're just focusing on just this year alone and last like so let's just say since donald trump got in office let's just say that since donald trump got in office we've seen a lot of just contradicting opinions from america to its so-called allies if you're on if you're in allegiance with an with a with an entity or a, or, or a nation that nation is supposed to have the same mind as you, which is it's, it's, in, the, it's in the scripture where it talk about they have basically the same mind in Revelation 17. 